New game. Default. Lay it on me, baby. Give me a taste of that sugar. Man, I've been needing this for so long. Oh, it looks so Bobby good. I didn't even notice. <laughs> Too busy on the bottle, as usual. Hell yes. Just the road and I. Who says just the road and I? Gotta make sure that grammar is perfect. No, 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 baby, don't do this to me now. Shit. Graphics and AI has gone too far. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What a day to end up stranded, huh? Oh, thank God. Could I get a lift? This heap of junk just died on me. Sure thing, son. But I wouldn't leave your vehicle out here. That's asking for trouble. My home's just over yonder, and lucky for you, this old man's a mechanic. We could tow her to my garage. Would you? Mighty kind of you, sir. Grab some rope and tie it good and tie it to the truck now. Rope? Can't tow a car with rope, you fucking dipshit. Welcome to the Tucker Farm, son. Must be pretty boring around these parts. <laughs> you would be surprised. Some things happen out here folks wouldn't believe. Alright, let's pop the hood and take a gander. You can kill me. Heavens to Betsy. The engine's in a right mess. Pop's gonna kill my ass. Don't worry yourself now. Hmm. I'll His make nipples you out. His nippies out. I see you got a toolbox in your back seat. The old lady's been bugging me to fix an old wardrobe for weeks, but the garage has me busy as a cat on a hot tin roof. You ain't no mechanic, that's for sure. You a carpenter by trade? My pop's profession. I know my way around to hammer and nail. Sounds like we have a deal. Come, let's get inside. What a coincidence. Why are you trusting this man with his tit out and no shoes? After you. I'm gonna get killed. So. He has one hand. Is this the wardrobe? It sure is. Should be easy work for you, right? I reckon I'll have this done in an hour. <laughs> there the boy. I'll get to fixing your vehicle. It'll run better than ever. Oh, before I forget, the wife listens to her favorite radio station around this time. Don't want to annoy the old goat. Better keep the door closed if that's all right with you. Sure, man. All right, let's get to it. Did he just lock me in this damn house? I'm going to get myself killed now. Skibbity boop. I hit you on the snoop. Let me make sure that this is coming through. At the quality we all want to see it in. Yep, it is. Brightness. Perfect. It's a little dark. The job is almost done. Man, it's getting dark here. Does this old house have energy or even a lot of lights? I'll ask the farmer if he has something to light this place. Otherwise, I can't finish. I'm never going to be able to finish. Help me finish. It's used for clipping hair or unlocking cheap locks. Why do you need that on you, sir? Son. Boy. Can I unlock this cheap lock? Oh, that's in the toolbox. Yeah, I'll take it. Sweet. Sweet. Toilet paper? I might need to go dookie in here. Just think and wait for now. The door is stuck. Or locked. What's this? I always keep it close. Is that a Bible? I can't use that here. The door is locked. Anybody there? Nobody answers. I think I may have. I think I may have something open in my toolbox. Yeah, I got it already, damn boy. I got myself a little uh, 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 bobby pin. Uh, Kayla, this game is called Cannibal Secrets. Oh, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong fucking PC. This game is called 
Ca- cannibal abduction. Oh, I should never have come back to this. Fucking PC. Now my mouse is going to be stuck in the middle of the screen. There we go. Go on. Easy as that. All I had to do was click on the other. How convenient. A flashlight. Oh, why is that? Equip the flashlight to reveal its items that can be grabbed. Keep in mind that Henry's easy to be noticed. Well, why would I? Why is that? A, why Why am I worried about being noticed? Why? Why? Oh, God. Turn the flashlight. Easy as. Easy as, man. Easy as, man. Your mother and I are leaving for town. We'll be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's bedroom. Take care of it as soon. Your mother and I are leaving for town. We'll be back later tonight. Great news. I have a nice young stray locked in Fred's bedroom. Take care of it as soon as possible. Don't play with the food. They locked me in that bedroom on purpose. Don't play with the food. What the hell are those weirdos talking about? Seems like I'm alone for now, but don't have much time. I must get the F out of here. Got to get the F word out of here. I need to get the fudge out of here. Or I'm fucked. It's locked. I'm out of bobby pins, Timmy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I got I, I got I got to get out of here. Maybe there's something in here. An- another Bible? Well, no. Oh God, these controls are friggin' difficult. It turns too hard. Zap, can I, no? Should I not take the tape? Tape seems like a pretty useful tool. Brand new VHS tape. Oh. I could save the game with the VHS tape. I don't like that. I don't like the whole CD uh, typewriter uh, uh, thingy, coil, whatever it is. <gasps> Just let a brother save the game whenever he wants to. I'd be a doopy dog. All right, we'll check around this corner. Someone's making a bit of bloody noise. I don't want to set the world on fire. February 3rd, before going to bed last night, I found Aunt Marie sitting by her living room radio alone. She was staring at the radio with a blank look on her face and turning the dial over and over like she was trying to find a specific frequency. When I told her goodnight, she ignored me as if she was lost in her own little world. Uncle Bob told me she'd been up all night. Maybe I should ask her about it. February 4th, I couldn't couldn't help but ask, but ask Aunt Marie why she was up so late. As she opened her mouth to speak, she became overjoyed and giddy like a child. She told me, I finally did it. It's the radio, you see. I can connect to it with the radio. It talks to me. When I asked her who it was, her sweet, joyful smile faded as that blank stare I seen last night returned. Like her soul got sucked out of her body all of a sudden. I left the room and we both ignored each other for the entire day. I'm starting to really worry about her. I think she needs to see a doctor. She's old, she's weird, and she's starting to grow a beard. We need to work out what this frequency is.
Same one. Maybe I should have written those down. Well, that's just my tummy rumbling. The porn? Porn a pizza? Why is there a slice of pizza in the bathroom? Fucking drawer. The door is locked. Unlock. Aha. Riddle me this, cunts. I need a hammer. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your home. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. I'm waiting for someone to pop out and kill me. Wait, tell me you don't have bathroom pizza over here there in Australia? No, we keep our we keep our pizza in the bedroom. In case you get hungry during during nookie and you want to roll over and go mmm mm, pepperoni. My pussy is spicy. <laughs> He must be all right. Well, the good news is no one's jumped out to try and kill me yet. I don't hit the world on fire. Let's go crack open those boards. A flame in your heart. That song makes me want to play Fallout. Alright. Hammer. Pop them nails. Had to get the kid ready for school for last 10. Did I miss anything? No. No. We're just, we're, we've been captured by those creepy uh, uh, cannibals. And that's sort of where we're at. April 14th. Aunt Marie and Uncle Bob won't be back from their trip until tomorrow. And Philip shouldn't be a problem. Almost every day when the clock strikes 8.45 p.m., Philip goes to the basement and we don't see him until the next day. He's been doing this for weeks. I'm counting on him doing it again today. I'll update. Shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Okay. I'll update later if I find anything. Update. As soon as I heard the basement door shut, I rushed to the radio. I wasn't sure what I was looking for, but I started twisting that dial, just like Aunt Marie did that night. I can't fully explain what I found, but some channels had strange sounds like I never heard before. It sounded like some kind of animal singing, humming. It kept repeating the same three patterns in the same order. I could tell because each pattern had a distinct tone and length. Is this the it my family talks about? This makes no sense. I can't hear it say anything. I just don't understand any of this. So there's Philip and there's Fred. I'm guessing Philip is the one that wants to eat people and, and the food is for. And I'm guessing Fred is the normal one who's like, what is it my aunt, aunt and uncle is talking about? What's this craziness they're whispering about? Something on the radio? A uh, flame in your heart.
So what's this game? Cannibal abduction. It's about some sort of cannibal abduction. What the hell? That's a fucking arm. I'm not touching it. I don't know why you would. No one's asking you to, you fucking dipshit. Can I go down? Nope. The hills have guys. Silent Hill, Silent Texas, Chainsaw, Hank Hill, Massacre. Whew. That was a mouthful. Any more bobby pins kicking around? Nothing. I do love me a little puzzle, a little puzzle game. But I can't find dicks. Morning, Matt. Long time. Miss that sexy upper upper body. <laughs> that upper upper body. Thank you, Pizza Ball. The knob is missing. I'll give you a fucking knob. I'll give you a bloody knob. All right. Now I'm kind of confused. What if there's something in Fred? I was right. Bullsack. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Fridge? I'm not opening the fridge. Pussy. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was dealing with a regular pussy. Alright, it's got some, maybe the radio is something I need to work out now. The bath, maybe? Oh, here we go. Hello, key. I got the bronze key. Someone else is in the house. Guys. Guys, someone else is in the house. Oh, the fixed camera is really fucked right now. Key must be... What about this key? Hells yeah, brother man. Oh, my God. Open menu while hidden. I'll take it. Boom. It's a gorgeous lockbox. Something around here that fits it. My name oh. is Troy. I have a basketball game tomorrow. Well, I'm a point guard. I got a shoe game. And you got me. Pockets are full. But this door should go straight to where I need to be.
Thank you. Anything else in here I need to fuck around with? That's right, I'll find what I need. Oh, hello, man. Uncle Bob was washing his truck in our backyard yesterday, which is strange as he usually gets it waxed and washed in town. When I looked closer, it became clear why the front of the vehicle was was a complete mess. <laughs> the front bumper was hanging off. The radiator grill had some major denting, and to top it off, both were covered in blood and what looked like small chunks of something stuck in the gaps. Uncle Bob would complain for days if the truck gets even a scratch on it, but he never mentioned it. Even once I can't keep this accent on. And the family brought it up to dinner. This shit isn't funny anymore. I was bringing the laundry basket down to the basement to load the washing machine, and I noticed the entry to the laundry room had been blocked off by a bookshelf, and the, and the washing machine disconnected. When I tried to push the bookshelf to the side, it wouldn't budge an inch. I politely asked everyone for the reason, and all they did was ignore me. Every single day, they ignore me. It's been weeks of this silent treatment bullshit. Is this some sick joke I don't know about? March 3rd, I've forgotten the last time I've had a good night's sleep. I hear the radio almost every night now, so everyone gathers around to listen until the early hours of the morning. I snuck down to get a peek at them, but I but as I got closer, I stepped on a loose floorboard. Suddenly, their heads turned to look at me at the same time, like a pack of wolves spotting their next prey. They all invited me to join them as I stood frozen in fear. I was shaking so bad, but I managed to refuse them and go back to bed. What's happening to my family? I'm not going crazy. Something is wrong with them. First, it was Aunt Marie, and now everyone has lost their fucking minds. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I fear I will... I fear what will happen if they catch me snooping around, but I have to try something. I just need to wait for the right time. He scared me being so close to the camera just then, and I don't know why. I'm going to hide in this cupboard just for a second and see what this whole pause menu is about. This is awful. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. Oh, bro, is Twitch Prime still a thing? I might have to figure it back out. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. it's always uh, always an option. Speaking of which, guys, uh, hey, if you've had fun tonight, if you enjoyed the content, consider uh, leaving a sub. Consider leaving a gift to sub. Consider donating straight to the uh, to the donation link. Um. And uh, come back tomorrow morning and Friday as well for the next streams. If you could fit those into your calendar. Best way to support the stream is to watch the stream. Best way to be the stream is to see the stream. Best way to touch the stream is to fuck the stream. I don't know what that means, but we all lived it together. All right, I don't know what to do. I have a... Bobby pin, so I should be able to unlock something. I'm just worried about whoever the fuck just showed up before. And whether they're gonna make another appearance. Hell yeah! It's a picture of Johnny Boy. I remember watching him live with the crickets when I was younger. Johnny Boy and the crickets. Hey! Fucking shit. Someone subscribed. Fucking wake up. Pizza Bowl, thank you for resubscribing, you bloody legend. I'm gonna try and fuck the stream, but I'm worried it's too soon. Hey! A bit bloody Someone loud. Someone subscribed. <clears throat> Fucking wake up. Neck and Cobra. Papow. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Um... <clears throat> I got real, real fucking frightened by pizza ball. That's fucking, that's really throwing me off. Ugh. The fireplace lights the room. There's a suspicious loose brick, but I cannot reach it. All right, so we need to put the fire out to get the loose brick, clearly. I was playing with Daisy today. She's the only member of the family I could trust. She was so happy wagging her tail, playing <clears throat> with her toys, gave me comfort. I've not felt in a long time. She reminded me of when things were normal, but something's not right with her. It's her breath. She licked my chin and the stench nearly made me throw up. What the hell are they feeding her? It <clears throat> doesn't even smell like dog food. 
I'm getting the hell out of this house. I cannot recognize my family anymore. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. A blood-soaked bandage wrapped around their arms, resting on the table with the blood still wet. They cut off their own fucking arms. Oh, they're the ones. Uncle Bob grabbed my arm and placed a cleaver onto my hand. He sat back down and they all looked at me. He asked me if I wanted to do it too. I threw the cleaver on the table and ran up to my room. I have all my bags packed and I'm ready to leave this hellhole. Uncle Bob, Aunt Marie, Philip, I promise I'll be back with help. Please be safe, Daisy. <clears throat> Chopping off their own friggin' arms. This is some Resident Evil 7 nonsense. Hey, Daisy. A brand new VHS just home. Daisy, chill. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Daisy proper fucked things up. Jesus. Betrayed by a wolf. How can they do this? The water is not flowing. I need a valve to restore the flow. <coughs> Chill out, Daisy. Okay. I need to find something for Daisy. A toy, some food, something. Something for that fucking dog. Jesus. I didn't even see the thing that was chasing me. Maybe there's something in there. Search. Hello, a bandage. My pockets are full. I'll come back. This might be a good time to use one of those VHS tapes. Now that I'm a tape ahead. Give the dog the severed arm. I mean, the dog's already chewing on something <clears throat> that looks bloody. And I don't think I could pick up the severed arm, as far as I can tell. But I still have the common key, so I should be able to open all these drawers. What is it? Can of dog food. I reckon that'll do the trick. Dogs usually like dog food. Take the dog. I've gone back towards where the fucking guy was. For the 
fucking tear, you dickhead. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's the dog food bowl in the corner of the room. I need to put the dog food in there. That probably means he's nearby, I imagine. Go for it, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Daisy was playing with this object. It looks like a doorknob. You're the one I adore. You're so lazy. I want to be with you more. Oh, this is awful. Every room that could be in. Which room was the one that needed the door handle? Was it this this one? Nope. I think it's upstairs. <sighs> Fucking A. It is upstairs. For certain. Knob in the hole. Oh. Oh. We're playing cannibal abduction. I've been abducted. This might surprise you. By cannibals. Shocker. Hello. Bandage. I will leave that bandage. Not just because I have no use for it, but because I have no room for it. Yes, bitch. All right, I need to get rid of something. Can I, like, drop shit? I can't. One, two, two, zero. KHS. Ugh, my fucking phone's dead. Can somebody, well, can someone remember that? So how about Paranormal Activity Saturday, 28th of January? <laughs> <laughs> no. I got stuff planned. After the, uh, after Friday next week, we got nothing but releases. One, 2020. Just remember that because I'm going to have to get the code from downstairs. Sorry, you know, guys, I'd really love to. I'd really love to, but I've spoken to... I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. And, and, and it's 24 hours later, and I, I ain't seen none of them. That was rough. That was real rough. Um, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I've got, uh, there's game releases non-stop from Friday next week. So I'll be playing those, unfortunately. So I'm going to probably play the things that I want to play instead of the one game I really don't want to play. Plus, you know, we didn't hit the donation goal, so... It was for the kids. It was for the kids. And it didn't happen. So you can only blame yourselves. But Amber aren't having a sleepover. Guess you'll have to play it yourselves. Guess you'll have to have a 
a ladies' night scary stream. But I want to see you shit your britches. You can see me shit my britches on my OnlyFans. You don't need that shit. Alright, one, two, two, zero. Or one, two, something. Six four. Six four four. It's either six four three or six four four. Three four five six. Six four four. really got me good upstairs, I'll be honest. He really made me shit my pants. Six, four, four. Would have donated, but I'm out of work. Finding it hard to find anywhere. Taking drivers in January. Jeepers, Sandman. Sorry to hear that, buddy. I'm just kidding, by the way. We, we raised a lot of money for charity. I'm just saying. I'm just using it as an excuse to not play the game. But that was the dono goal to play the game. We didn't reach it. So what kind of person would I be if I didn't stick to my guns? I'd be someone who plays that fucking game. That's who. Oh, Hello. Oh, someone was stuck up here. Fred? My pockets are full. Fucking. That really sounded like someone coming. I woke up in the attic. I can't believe my own family did this. As a kid, I used to hide here when I was bold. When I was bold? Now I'm trapped here. They want me to cut my arm off. Fuck that. I won't do it. I won't give in. Dear God, save me. I'm so hungry. Uncle Bob offers me a plate of food every day, but I refuse. The side of it makes me want to puke. Bob says it's pig meat, but I don't believe a word he says. I know it's human. I'm so fucking weak. I couldn't resist anymore. I'm so hungry. I ate it. It tasted fine. Was he telling the truth? Was it pig meat or am I so hungry? I can't even tell anymore. I don't know what to think. I feel like I'm losing it. Aunt Marie came to wish me happy birthday day. She gifted me a bundle of rope. Is she giving me a way out? I broke down crying as I hugged her, begged her over and over to let me out of here. It was useless. She just smiled at me and left the room. I'm a burden to them. They can't let me leave, but some part of them some part of them can't kill me themselves. I think it's the twenty third, like it even matters anymore. I refuse to use this rope. I've been holding this knife for what feels like hours. Maybe if I just give them what they want, maybe I could have a chance. What if he's the guy chasing me around? Smells like rotten meat. Hey, I give the people what they want, person. When have I ever given the people what they want? I make the people suffer through my shit. We need to go down the basement, get this water going. Daisy, Daisy, you're the one I endure. I donate five dollars. That's more than enough for you to want to play it. But I don't want to play it, so your facts are skewed. Amber, I, I honestly, 
I wish, I wish I, I, I wish I wanted to play it. Did we ever discuss why you hate urinals? I mean, does anybody like urinals? Surely everyone's preference is a cubicle, not a fucking urinal. If, if, if there's anybody in this world, in this world, who walks into a bathroom and goes, please urinals, please urinals, please, yes, urinals, then that's certainly not a person I want to be around because that's fucked. Come on, urinals. Ooh. If this is a urinal, this is really going to make my day. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. I like urinals. You're a sicko, Sash Bob. You're a sick fuck. Is this the basement? Pretty sure I could hear him for a second there. So if I get my life together settled when I move to Scotland and then I was, can I visit and we both play it? Oh yeah, for sure. If you want to play it, yeah. Water flow has been restored. Giggity. When? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good attitude. I like them. I prefer piss on my feet. Can I use the rope to get the brick? No. That's stupid. I tend to hope for urinals. Means I'm in the right bathroom, but I'll pick a cubicle over a urinal, but then I'll also get the dilemma that if you walk in and all the cubicle doors are shut, do you chance walking up? Like, why don't I just pick the furthest away urinal for anyone? Choices. All better choices than having a fucking share a, a, a go arm to arm with 20 other people taking a piss. So the water is restored. What does that mean for me? Still stream when I get back. I'll be back. Oh no, we'll probably be we'll be ending soon enough, Sam man. But thanks for uh, thanks for dropping in. I hope you um I hope you you sort out your work situation. I'm sorry to hear it's um not ideal at the moment. I like how, look. I don't mind a piss buddy. I don't need a piss squadron. Now, why would I want the water system to work? What benefit does that have to me? What have I come across that would really benefit me having water? Probably to put that fire out. So I need some sort of receptacle. A bucket. I've got this rope. What can I use this rope for? Piss Squadron, new podcast name. <laughs> podcast is over, mate. Dosroff. Dosroff. Dear Scrot. That's a fucking arm. What about this bucket? Anything in the fridge? Can't open the fridge. I've shit myself already. Eh. Hail Dosroff. Hail Dosroff. Hail Queen Dosroff of the Dosroffians. 
There's the clock as well. I totally forgot about the clock. Could I not take the guy's piss bucket? Was that not an option? Me every time Matt plays a semi scary game. Shit yourself. I've dos roffed myself. The crazy thing is I never finished off the wardrobe, so what are they gonna do? <laughs> Fucking hell. See what he got me good. He got me good. He made me absolutely dos roff myself. Yeah, yeah, I dust roughed myself. Big whooper. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty, pretty bad. All right. Thankfully, it's clean. Can't use that here. What could I possibly use the rope on? Can't unalive myself. Doesn't seem to be anything to tie it on the roof. Which is what which is what they clearly wanted him to do. So what uh, what plans apart from a Forcing me to play shit I don't want to play. What plans do you guys have for your big fucking sleepover? Kayla Wee Samba. Because now in the two of you, you probably already got like, we got dinner, we got snacks planned, we got what movie we're going to watch. We got about every inch of it's planned out. Regret. Hey. Oh, fuck. That really Someone got me. Subscribed. Hey, regret. Fucking wake up. Thanks for a sub at us. Ooh. What would fit in here? Something's supposed to fit in there. I for totally forgot about that. Candle. Uh, regret. Thanks for resubscribing, buddy. All right, fine. I'll kiss you. What's supposed to go into that box? Something dirty, I bet. Amber here from the Friday to the Monday. All right. Yeah. So a good stretch of time. All right. Something needs to go into that box. I'm stumped. I'm stumped. I think. Daisy, Daisy, you're the one I adore. You're a cunty, can't you with, with me more? Come in. Wait a second. That note said something about
Remember that note says something about a bookshelf or something? Couple of things. Maybe there's a book. Maybe that bookshelf in the uh, basement is blocking a door, which I'm certain it is. Now that I realise that there is, there is a fancy ass bookshelf down there. Fuck! <laughs> he got me good. He got me good. Surely that's not gonna work. Use the rope. Can't use that here. This is definitely blocking something. Damn it. I'm quite frustrated. I hadn't opened this one. Of course, the thing I need is right fucking there. Dipshit. Wonder what this button did. I bet it moved the fucking bookshelf. Hello, bookshelf. Oh no. Oh no. For the family, cut limbs, put in the refrigerator, remove bones, grind for it, remove organs, throw in the pit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. I don't want to. You should get on my friggin' Instagram. Hell yeah! Meat grinder was used recently. Is it all human meat in this barrel? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit, man. I know where that goes. Straight up my ass. Straight up my ass. Let's wait. I'm not going down there just yet. Hmm. 
Go upstairs, throw that into the uh into the fancy looking box. You know what I might even do? Let's come feeling frisky. Might even use a bandage. I feel better now. Much better. I feel bad. Now I feel better. Clunk. A clock hand. Oh, Jesus! Boy, he just be waiting. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the fucking basement hole. I'll see y'all in the sewers. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. You can't kill me. Feels like a good place to hit pause, to be honest, because uh, I gotta get out of here, guys. It's already so late, and I've got things I want to do tonight. All right, now we're not gonna be where we were. We're gonna we're gonna be a couple sets back. Why did you defy my book? Well, the book started as my as my journal. So there are a few entries at the start that were. Honestly, K. Louise, you know me. If 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 the entries to the journal were personal, it's not that big a deal. If they were just like funny or whatever, but they were just they're just so not funny. I started journaling at a real down point. You know, when the hypochondria was really at its peak and we were in the middle of lockdown and everything. So the the journal the journal does not read like a fucking comedy autobiography and I was like you know what I think I need to not send that out into the world I treasure the poems in the notebook you sent me there's a few of those in uh, K. Louise's as well yes Jesus Christ uh, for those who aren't up with this, uh, basically, I've just been abducted by cannibals. Cannibal abduction. That's the game. And it was just, it's like a Resi Silent Hill puzzle game sort of vibe. Get pieces. Solve puzzles. Get out of here. And I'm just... <laughs> Now, finding myself at the end of a collection of um, puzzles that have, have got me to a sewer. I've, I've got the rope attached to the sewer downstairs. I'm ready to do sewer shit. Also, the cannibal guy can just be standing. You can just walk into a room and he's standing there. It's super fucking off-putting. That clock clearly needs a very specific input, and I don't know what it is. Can I put one in chat? It's so touching. I guess so. I can't remember what they were. Yeah, go for it. 
Should be able to use a hammer in your pocket to bash the cunt's head in when he chases you, man. I agree. This guy's got a leather jacket and he's not acting like it. He's acting more like he's got a denim jacket. Fucking pussy. Fucking little denim cuck. Little denim cuck pussy. Let's let's ignore the clock hand thing and go straight for the sewer. The store doesn't have a lock. Wait, oh no, there's the sewer. Let's do it. And then he comes up behind me and gives me a cut. Hey! That damn band made me cry in a book store with that song. It was a beautiful song, Joe the Bro. Me and Beck were just talking about it. And kept talking about it after it happened. Um, roses are red, violets are violet. Oh. Is that really how the poem goes? Did, is, it, is it just fuck or do I say something else? Is it not like you fucking idiot or something? Because it's roses are red, violets are violet. Fucking idiot. I'm pretty sure that's the poem. What did I just write? Fuck. Why did I write fuck? Don't know. I have it in front of me. S send me a you send me a picture right now of the poem. I need to get out of this. Blah 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 blah. I need to get out of here. Send me a picture right now. That's literally how much I don't believe that that's the poem. Yep, you got me there. You really got me there. Roses are red. Violets are violet. Egg on you head. <laughs> you got some egg on your head. Send more poems, Amber. I need to hear more. <laughs> I'm starting to think I'm a genius. Uh, uh, too much squelching is happening right now. This is clearly not a good ending. Hello, Popo. What's the bet the police hey, are in are cahoots? Jesus Christ, what happened to you? They, they ate them. They wanted me too, but I got away. What are you talking about? Who are they? Who did this to you? The Tuckers. Tucker Farm. They're crazy. Shit, this doesn't look good. Get in the truck. I gotta get you to the hospital. Mm, I don't trust this mustache here. Yeah, on the wound? Yeah, yeah. I think. Just relax. Here. I'll turn on the radio. You're safe now. You riu riu riu. I'm not safe now. Yeah, I'm definitely not safe because I turn on the radio and it's it's playing the same radio signals that made them go crazy. All right, let's try again because there's something to do with that clock. There's something to do about nothing. Up, oh, am I going to play Sons of the Forest, Rav Muff? Yeah. The forest is like... The forest is deep in the GMAT lore. That was one of those first games I ever streamed. 
It's the first game I ever made a video on. Yeah, we'll be playing Sons of the Forest. Don't you worry your sweet little penis. Don't you worry your sweet little penis. The forest has been around longer than Goldie. Did you voice this too? All right. Now, we're smart people. We can work this out. We're not smart people. We'll never make a way to doubt. We'll never make a way to doubt. No, no, no. There's nothing left for us here. Yeah, this bit of the game could use more squelching. I've always felt like it's not squelchy enough. I like my games to be like a wet carpet. Squelch city, bitch. Squelch city, bitch. Squelch, squelch city, bitch. Come on your titties, bitch. Now, what the fuck do we set the time to? Also, where is this cannibal fucker? Well, he ain't in here. Maybe Fred wrote something in one of these diary entries. I'm just looking for some numbers. Let's start from the start. I was hoping to read something like, it was 12.20 on the dot. And that's when shit got Barked. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything in there. Told you, mate. Bash his head in with the hammer in your pocket. I just know what the bash button is. I've been given a tutorial. Into it eventually it completely turned me into Oh, it's such a it's such a good game, Rab Muff. The forest is a classic. Oh fucking fuck. Is he in the room? If someone tries to give me directions in the middle of the ocean ever again, Bubbles, I, I think that'll end the Sons of the Forest. One of Tincho's first streams with us. Yeah, I remember it. I remember it aggressively. Because the problem was we were in the middle of the ocean and in the Twitch chat, like we're on a boat in the ocean. It's flat all around. And we're trying to find a bit where you go out in the ocean and then you swim down to something. It's like a hidden something. Anyways. Tin in the chat keeps saying, oh, it's just to your left. And by the way, I'm constantly turning because I'm trying to look for this thing. And it's a Twitch chat, so it's going to be delayed by a little bit. And I was like, stop saying things like it's to my left. And then get, getting mad at me when I can't find it. Because left is not left anymore. I'm constantly turning. The chat is delayed. Left is subjective. Do I turn left just like that? Or do I turn left 
540 degrees. Man, no fucking... I was getting so mad. I was saying the exact same thing to Amber the other night when she was looking for an island. Behind her island. Behind relative to what? Yeah. Yeah. Poem number four. Is your grandpa a gent or a louse? When he whispers as quiet as a mouse. Aiden, come to me. My secrets are free. Every corner of the house. Yeah. Poem number four. <laughs> hey! GZ Jody. Someone subscribed. Fucking wake up. Thanks for handing Raf my f uh, little sub. Hmm. Look at fucking tea, you dickhead. Uh, GG Jordy, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the service. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gifting a sub to the real GMAT is perfect for that. And gifting a sub to the real GMAT is perfect for that. Um, not so good for that. But for, for a channel that's pretty bloody good, gifting us up to the real GMAT is... Is perfect for that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Gang. Oh. My controller just disconnected for a second. I can't wait this clock out. Do you reckon one of the radio signals... Gives me the time it's supposed to be, maybe. That doesn't really uh, equate to a code. I could just try 1020. Anybody got any ideas? I'll take back seating to fucking end this bit of the game. Ravmaf, you fucking legend. Hey! Uh, someone subscribed. Fucking wake up. I can't pause the game. But I so badly want to scroll up the chat because I've missed some shit. Yeah, it's got something to do with the clock. You're a bad guy. Uh, Ravmaf, thanks for the gift to sub. Change my name to GG Joy Ride. Hello. There's nothing left for us here. This door doesn't have a lock. It opens from somewhere else. You reckon that's the, the clock will open up that door? Don't know why it would. Fuck! 
can help. Did you try both 1020s? You're fighting against cannibals, right? Why are they inhumanely screeching? Um, tough childhood. Uh, itchy, itchy knees. They've got, they've, they've all got, um, scurvy. Uh, what am I, what am I, what am I doing? Um, I'm going to Google it because I want to fucking be over this shit. What is the secrets to the fucking... Oh, abduction, walkthrough, and secret ending. Let's get to the point, mate. Yep, 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 yep. Like I said, you can go down to the sewers if you want. All you have to do now is follow some pathways hey! to get your freedom. Someone subscribed. Fucking wake up. Cool. So that's the main ending. The one I did was the ending ending. Secret ending. All right, so you probably want to this achievement too, and of course, blah, blah, blah. Yep. All you have to do is not descend right away after placing the rope. Remember the cabinet in the room with you? Use the common key to get yourself the hexagonal key, which is what I did, which gets me the clock hand. Yes. Yeah, but why do I need to put it to 845? Hmm. That guy didn't tell me at all why it was 8.45. It just said, put the clock to 8.45. Now, my guess is that that opened that door in the basement. Let's go find out. Together. Looks like Reese got to the point for you, man. Oh, did he? Sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. After I beat this bitch, I'm going to scroll up through the chat because I've missed a bunch. Hello. Oh, no. This is the kind of room somebody would get locked in. You've got the metal key. Dex! Oh, fuck it. Hey, listen. Hey, come on. This mattress has been peed on and smells awful. But there's a toilet there. I think they've I, th I think they've got them mixed up. You meant to sleep in the bed, not peep in the bed. What are you doing? Don't peep in the bed. Beds ain't for peeping. Dicks! Hey. That's too many dicks. Whoever be hitting that dick button is hitting it too hard. All right, the metal key doesn't work fucking anywhere. Cunting fucking Christ.
Edwit. Thanks for uh, resubscribing. Where will this metal key go? Because I'd like to put it up my ass. I'd like it to go just deep up my ass. You know what I mean? That's kind of what's kind of where I want to put the metal key. But that's just because I want to feel something. Uh, no, hold off the answer for just a second, Rigsy. But thank you. Metal key. Metal gear key. What would that unlock, though? Probably something metal. If I had to take a guess at a gander, I'd say some fucking hardcore metal shit. Nothing down here. Nothing in here. Games like this disorient disorient me so much. Disorientate. <clears throat> I never know which way I'm walking. Yeah, it doesn't work for everybody. I remember the first time I played Silent Hill, I was like, what the fuck? It eventually clicks. You just sort of got to never let go of forward. He's down here then. If he's not upstairs, he's down here somewhere. The fucking cunny. Where's the squelching at? Yo, homie, where's the squelching at? I came to this game pacifically for quelching. And I ain't heard no squelches in a while. And I don't mean to complain, but I would like some squelching, please. I fucking hate everything that's happening right now. Huh. I can't use these keys on anything. Anything. Okay. Alright, Rigig, is he laid on me? Actually, I can probably just look at it, can't I? Oh, go fuck yourself. It also said he's always down here, so get ready. Nope. Who'd have thought? I wish he didn't make such awful, awful sounds. All right, here's that squelching content you've been asking for. All right, in the corner of the sewers, there should be a little door. Oh, of course. Of corpse. Mm -mm. Ooh, those steps are wet. Mm. Oh, it's like he's walking through spaghetti. Ooh, spaghetti feet. Ooh, it's so weird. Oh my god. Ooh, carbonara toes. This is a carbonara toes. 
It's like slapping two gammon steaks together. Gammon. Where am I going? Oh, this, I'm tripping. I'm inside a person. Oh, this is clearly... This ain't, this ain't good. This is not a good first date spot. So I guess they weren't crazy. I guess there really is some fucking alien shit going on. <laughs> Mummy, is this canon? I think I've done a full circle here, yeah. Let's go back. This one is hatched. So these are eggs. I could have told you that. I feel like the sound department was standing there microphone by eating wet cheese. Miss <laughs> POV, Miss Frizzle lost a kid. <laughs> Hey, Jordy. Oh! Jordy, I want you to know that was real funny. That right there, that was funny. Cannibal abduction. Cannibal abduction, I'm Dr. Cannibal, I say the cannibal abduction. Everybody get it, put it in your mouth, eat that human head. Ellie was so confused by everything happening to Sen.